The Cintiq Pro 27 is the most color accurate pen display that Wacom has ever produced. It's got an incredible 27 inch 4K 10 bit color multi touch display that covers 98% DCI P3 and 100% Rec. 709 color gamuts. It also has a refresh rate of 120 Hz and a brightness of up to 400 nits. So it's an amazing display, and I haven't even mentioned the pen performance yet. Of course, it comes factory calibrated with a whole bunch of different color profile presets, but we know it's important to keep our monitors regularly calibrated. So in this video, we're gonna have a look at those factory calibrated color profile presets, the on-screen controls and how to navigate them, and we'll write a custom color profile to the device using our Wacom Color Manager. There are three buttons on the rear of the device. First is power, second is on-screen controls, and the third is a switch to toggle multi-touch on and off. I'm gonna hit the second button to pull up the on-screen control menu. And then here we'll see some navigation tools using the express keys on either side. I'm gonna use the arrow keys at the bottom to cycle through the different options. We have input source, display settings, and other settings. Beneath that, we can see that my Cintiq is connected with the display port cable. I'm running at 3840 by 2160 at 120 Hertz in 10 bit color. So we're firing on all cylinders. Now I'm gonna to toggle back up to display settings and hit the top key to confirm. That'll open up the display settings window. I'm gonna hit the same key to enter into color mode and we'll cycle through the different profiles that come pre-calibrated with the Cintiq 27. So I'm on Rec. 709, that's just where I like to work regularly. We also have Rec. 2020, Display P3, sRGB, EBU, PQ2100, PQDCI, HLG Rec. 2100 Custom, which allows for four different custom calibrations. And back to native, which is how the Cintiq comes out of the box. Adobe RGB, Display P3, and then we'll cycle back to Rec. 709. So we're gonna write another custom profile to the Cintiq Pro. To do that, we're gonna use the Wacom Color Manager software and the Wacom Color Manager itself. One of the key features of the Cintiq Pro is that these color profiles are written directly to the hardware, meaning that it doesn't have to filter through an OS. So you can plug in multiple computers into the same Cintiq Pro and be assured that the color profiles will be consistent and reliable and ready to go whenever you need it. So to do that, let's open up the Wacom Color Manager software. So there are two user modes to pick from. There's basic and advanced. I'm gonna to stick to basic for this video. We also have the displays listed and our default display device is the Wacom Calibrator, which is great. Over in the workflow selector, we're gonna pick display profiling. On the display settings page, we're gonna select our target white point and luminance values. Under the RGB profiles dropdown menu, there's a list of profiles available. I'm gonna to stick to Rec. 709. Under luminance, there's a number of options ready to pick. There's also a custom slider to take full advantage of the additional brightness of the Cintiq Pro 27. It goes all the way up to 400 nits. I'm gonna to stick to 160 nits in this case. And we'll click next. On the measurement page, we get to determine where this color profile is going to live. I'll pick calibration slot two for now. So I'm going to overwrite the profile that's already there, which is a DCI-P3 profile. And above the color grid here, there's a start measurement button. That's what we're gonna hit next. Now we have some instructions to get the colorimeter ready to go. I have mine plugged in already behind my display. So we'll open up the cap so that the lens is facing down and we will make sure that that's sitting flush in the middle of the display, nice and flat. And when that's all set, we can hit next. This process will take a few minutes, so of course we'll speed the video up and I'll overlay a timer to keep track of the process. So now that the measurement process is complete, we'll close up the colorimeter and place it somewhere on the desk so that it can take an ambient light measurement of the environment. So once that's in place, we'll click next. So here we'll just double check that we're going into calibration slot two. We've named it Rec. 709 Bright 160 and we're overwriting the DCI-P3 Bright profile that I had set previously. So we'll go on to the next page. Here also the profile name will be Cinti Pro 27 in today's date. That ICM file will be saved to the system. And there we go, profile saved successfully. So this shows a couple of different colored images with before and after. Now I'm overwriting a pretty similar color profile so it's not gonna be too much of a drastic change. 
So here's the results tab. So we've got a target luminance of 160 candela per meter squared and an achieved value of 159. And Rec 709 gamut coverage of 101.6%. So we'll close the color manager and open up display settings again. Go down to display settings and hit confirm. Now we can see that the color profile we just wrote to the device is active. We're on color mode, Rec 709 bright 160. And we can cycle through the different calibration and different profiles that I have on the device. And back to where we were on Rec 709. And we'll just go back to the brightness 160 and then we'll exit. There we go. And that's just a quick look of how we use the Wacom Color Manager to write custom profiles to the Cinti Pro 27.